Good morning. I just woke up at the Walmart here in uh, Butte, Montana. I'm on the road again. It was getting uh, really snowed in up north and I didn't want to die in an avalanche, so I'm on my way south. I used to be able to drive like 10 hours at a time, but lately, uh, I mean, four hours and I'm just done. This is uh, quickly becoming a geriatric fan life channel, but like last night I was searching around. I found a few spots out in the forest that uh, would have been a lot quieter, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it, so I just crash landed here at the Walmart but yeah I remember passing through Butte uh, a number of years ago on my bicycle and I just remember thinking it was a really interesting and uh, historic place so I might slow down take a look around before I go but in order to get this day started I need to run in and uh, use the bathroom here first So yeah, Butte is a mining town and this uh, this Berkeley pit forms a huge backdrop on the city. Maybe we can go take a closer look at it. Well, I'm not Tom Scott, so I'm not going to have the same level of access to make a video of this Berkeley pit. And it sounds like the viewing stand is closed right now, so instead I'm going to drive up to this Granite Mountain uh, Speculator Mine Memorial. Head west toward Harrison Avenue. So this is the Granite Mountain Memorial. It's dedicated to uh, the 168 men who died back in uh, 1917. The speculator mine disaster is uh, an underground copper mine that caught fire. I was hoping this would also be a good viewpoint of the lake down there. You can't see it, but it is a pretty good viewpoint of the mine and just how gigantic it is. They took a lot of copper out of here. And this is also a super fun sight. The lake down there, it's uh, highly acidic and uh, if migrating birds land in it, they die. So there's been like efforts to keep the birds away during migration season. Uh, I think uh, someone is stationed there to fire a gun to scare them away. Yeah, kind of an interesting spot. I just love looking at all the historic architecture around here. Definitely need uh, Google Maps to navigate these streets though. It's a total maze trying to get through this. I'll find a place to uh, take Rocco for a walk now. Come on, let's go for a walk, Rocco. This is called the Big Butte, and I don't think I can count this as a summit. We need to keep a, a rigid criteria on this channel of uh, challenging big mountains that take more than a couple hours to reach the top. Be nice to come back to uh, Montana in the summer and uh, hit some of the biggies here. There's a big M on the side of the hill here. Lights up at night. It's quite visible. I think I might walk around downtown and just oogle at some of the historic architecture. Rocco's not even slightly satiated by this hike. We need to stay busy. Keep going. I, uh, I think there's a really neat rail trail on the far side of town up in those hills. Uh, with some tunnels and a big trestle. I'll go check that out as well. A lot of people have been wondering about this uh, black compartment that just randomly appeared on the back of my van. I moved the 15 liter diesel tank back here just because uh, it was always throwing off fumes and giving me headaches, stinking up the interior. So I just uh, went ahead and moved it under the back door. It's much easier to refill now too because I can do the gas and the diesel at the same time without even moving the van. But in hindsight, if I was starting all over again, I might have tried to uh, a gasoline heater and just like tapped the main gas tank it would have been the cleanest install the easiest so ideas for the future Hey 
it's lunchtime and I got some leftovers from last night when I just uh, whipped up some burritos, but it's good to be back in the States. Get a whole new selection of uh, groceries to choose from. Tillamook shredded cheese. This is basically my first purchase. I mean, in Canada, there's there's nothing like this. This is just like delicious. I could sit here and eat this whole bag if I wanted to. And also, uh, I really like this Snake River Farms gourmet hamburger. I bought two packages and I cooked one last night which is in here. I just have to reheat it so I can uh, whip up a burrito real quick. It's definitely the Tillamook that completes it. Mm. Gonna go check out that rail trail now. It's about a 20 minute drive from here. And I'm sure there's probably some spots to uh, sleep quietly tonight in the forest, but I may just head back to Walmart tonight. Uh, it wasn't so bad. But last night I watched the last two episodes, uh, the HBO miniseries on Chernobyl, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like that actor Jared Harris. He always puts on a good show, but I think my favorite scene in the whole series was when uh, they went to that coal mine to recruit the miners. It was just such a well-shot uh, scene, but... Yeah, it was, uh, it was grueling, hard to watch, a little frustrating, but I liked it and I recommend it uh, if you're looking for something to watch. Turns out e-bikes aren't allowed on these trails, so I just have to hike up, take a look at these uh, tunnels and the trestle. So the Milwaukee uh, had the longest stretch of electrified railroad in the world at 647 miles, but they eventually switched over to diesel because uh, the transmission lines were uh, too hard to maintain. I'll turn around and walk towards the south. Uh, another tunnel up here in two kilometers to where the big trestle is. This one was about 400 meters long, just carved straight through the granite. It's amazing. And last but not least, the trestle. One of the reasons they decided to build it out of steel as opposed to wood is because uh, they were afraid of forest fires out here taking it all down. Yeah, that's an amazing piece of construction. I don't want to get too close to the edge. That is a big drop. So if you're passing through Butte, Montana, I recommend that you stop and check out some of these gems. Let's be honest, Forresty, did you actually sleep good at Walmart last night? No, no, I actually didn't. The street sweeper showed up about 2 a.m. I was doing laps around the van for like an hour, it seemed. Maybe I should uh, look at the map and see if there's a place to sleep out in the forest here. It's in peace and quiet. I get headaches from too much screen time and I definitely overdosed last night on Chernobyl. But it was worth it. I also noticed uh, the House of Dragon was available to watch. I'm so tempted to fire that up now. So yeah, I should try to find a place outside of cell service tonight and just force myself to read a book. All right, it's settled. We got the Toll Mountain free campground. About another 10 kilometers up this road. Lovely campground with limited sights. No cell service. Perfect. Maybe I can find some uh, firewood there too. actually did score some firewood. It feels a little damp, but I think it should burn. The question is, can I actually split this with a hatchet? One of these days I need to get a full size uh, axe. This is just like a remnant of the old days of having the minivan and being tight on space.
vast majority of the time when you come to these free campsites, it'll just be trash. Like the, the fire pits will be all full of garbage. There'll be beer cans everywhere. The trees will be all hacked up. But this place is uh, pristine. I can't believe it. It's just, uh, it's just spotless. But yeah, I feel like I made the right choice to come here and not go back to Walmart for another night. But just a simple video here, uh, this time of a, a day in the van life as uh, I make my way south. I got some uh, new ideas and new adventures uh, coming up over the next month that uh, I'm excited to get into. But thanks for watching. I'm just going to sit by the fire here, enjoy my night, and sip a beer. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing good. And I'll see you in the next one.